pancakes with the bacon on the side. You should tip me. You should tip me. <laughs> guys and welcome back to my channel my name is Casey if you are new here and if you are new please 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 subscribe to my channel I'm on the road to 30k subscribers and when I get to 30k I want to do a huge giveaway and I would love for you to be a part of that and to be a part of my channel so today I just have a really quick review um, on the new eco styler gel with castor oil and flaxseed this is like been raved about all over YouTube, all over the internet, all over the natural hair community. So I had to get my hands on it. Most of you guys have probably already heard what's in it, but I want to say it for those of you that may not be familiar with it yet. So this is the new Eco Styler Gel with um, black castor oil and flaxseed. It has vitamin E, fiber, and omega-3. It has the 10 Max Hold and Max Shine. As you can see, it looks like really shiny itself like in the jar. I don't know if you guys have ever tried any of the other castor oils. Let me grab my um, olive oil one. So I don't know if you guys can tell how, like you can kind of see little shiny crystals in this one almost. And then this one, it just looks kind of dry. Not dry, but you know, this one kind of looks like it adds some shine to your hair, you know? And that's what I was really excited about this one because I saw so many pictures of it. And I was like comparing it to my other Eco Styler gels. And I was like, wow, like. I feel like this is really going to be the one. Plus, I always add um, Jamaican black castor oil to my edge control regardless. So the fact that this has castor oil in it is great. I feel like all edge controls should have castor oil in it. Because not only does castor oil help with thickening and growth, of course, but um, it really does help to smooth your edges a lot better. So let's get into my thoughts. I tried this Eco Styler Gel two ways so far. Um, I tried it on a wash and go and I also used it to lay my edges for my puff. So um, for my puff, I literally just applied it the way I would usually apply my regular one. Um, I also had the Argan Oil one too, but I'm running really low on that one and I can't hold three at the same time. <laughs> but um, I am comparing this to the Olive Oil one and the Argan Oil one. So like I said, for my puff, I usually use the Olive Oil one. And um, the thing that I noticed immediately about this one is how thick it is. I don't know if you guys can tell in the camera, but it really has a thick, thick, thick consistency. Excuse my one blue nail. But um, it really feels a lot thicker than the other Eco Styler gels. So if you haven't seen my like puff tutorial yet, go ahead and click it in the cards above. I just applied this the same way I usually would to lay my exit for my puff. Um, I just applied it all over and then I brushed it out with my brush and um, it really did smooth my hair better than the other one to me. I don't know if it's just me being excited about it or what, but I feel like it really did smooth my hair a lot better. And um, because it's so thick, it kind of feels like it coats the hair and gives it like a hold without being like waxy, but it still has a lot of hold. I don't know how to describe the way it feels on my hair. It just feels so good. And usually I also have to um, use another edge control on my edges to lay them even more because usually the other Eco Styler gel isn't like waxy enough or thick enough to lay my baby hairs with that I like but I found that with this one it gives like the perfect hold for my baby hairs um, like the Carol's Daughter Macadamia one that I usually use and um, yeah I, it's just like it feels a lot it feels like it has a lot more hold than the other Eco Styler gels to me and it might be because it's so thick and because of the flaxseed in it as well, I really like the way it made my hairs lay down for my puff. It just felt so smooth and moisturized. Now for my wash and go, um, I couldn't film it obviously because I, like I said before, um, I live in a dorm and my shower and my dorm is a mess and I always do my wash and goes in the shower. So I couldn't film me actually putting it on, but what I did was I co-washed my hair in the shower and then um, I applied my Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Leave-In Conditioner first and then I applied this castor oil uh, Eco Styler Gel on top and um, it really, as soon as I put the gel on my curls, I could feel them clumping together. It really felt amazing. Now I personally... Um, don't mind a lot of shrinkage most of the time because when I have a lot of shrinkage my curls are usually the most defined whenever I try to prevent shrinkage I usually get a lot of frizz and I don't like that so um, with that being said this gel will give you your max amount of shrinkage is not going to help elongate your curls at all but it really does help to define the curl and like get rid of any frizz. I do have um, some footage of my hair when I first got out the shower and as you can see it was super shiny, super super moisturized. Um, my curls were super defined, there was no frizz at all and I was able to like move it around, it didn't make my hair feel stiff at all and I was really really satisfied with how my hair looked like immediately after the shower. 
Now, as the day went on, like I said, I noticed that my hair shrunk up a lot, so it doesn't help with elongation. Um, my frizz was still at a minimum, which I was happy about, and um, I didn't notice any flakes either. I do have some footage of what my hair looked like 100% dry, and, and it looks like in the camera that there's a lot of white cast, but it really isn't. I don't know why it looks like that. It might just be my ring light. But um, there was no flaking, no white cast, no nothing. My hair was really soft, it was really movable, and um, I feel like this one has a softer hold for a wash and go than the other Eco Styler gels, which is so weird because I feel like it helped to hold my puff like hairs a lot better. But for wash and goes, I feel like the hold was softer, which I didn't mind because my curls were super defined and everything. But um, they weren't like too crunchy. It didn't give like a really crunchy feel. The only thing that I would have to say about this that I don't like, um, at least with the combination that I did with the leave-in conditioner, I don't know if this just wasn't moisturizing enough, but um, my wash and go with, you know, using this technique did not last me long at all. It only lasted me actually about two days. And I'm filming this like on the third day, which is why my hair is kind of pulled back because I didn't like the way it looked. But, um... This is only going to give you a wash and go for like the first one to two days. After that, your hair is going to start feeling really dry. Um, with my other products that I usually use for my wash and go, I usually use the Shea Moisture uh, Coconut Hibiscus Smoothie and the Flaxseed Gel on top of that. That wash and go will last me like a week just because those products are so moisturizing. But I found that, like I said, with these two products as a wash and go, um, it didn't last me long at all and my hair started to feel dry. My curls were still very defined, but my hair started to feel dry and I don't like that feeling. So that's it for my little mini um, Eco Styler Gel review. Uh, I apologize that I can't show you guys how I apply it because I always do everything in the shower and my shower hair is really bad. But um, I do plan on doing more like in shower videos and hair videos when I move to my apartment in a few weeks so definitely stay tuned for that thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you guys enjoyed it and i hope that you maybe give this eco styler gel a try um it's very hard to find right now but it is on amazon uh but the, the shipping depending on where you live can be kind of pricey i'll put the link in the description box below so you can find where to get it don't forget to subscribe to my channel and subscribe to my blog if you have not already www.thebeautyplug.org it is an extension of my youtube channel and um i'm basically going to be posting everything i do here on there as well um, and I'm very very excited about that so I would love for you to subscribe you can subscribe the same way you do to my YouTube channel and every time I post something new you'll get a notification thanks again for watching and I will see you all in my next video bye